All right, Chalo Abia Sharala. Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor, all glory, and all praises to Yahweh. So, Kal Halaliam Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. We give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of GMS camp, but I'm not as great millstone for the bring for the hundred percent truth that I bring correctly edified under. Shalom to the elect and the tabernacle of David and Amir Brother Kazaki Asherala coming to you this simple lesson. Now, I want you all to pay attention as to what this guy was saying. And let's see if you could get some understanding as to what you were saying, right? Nothing wrong with tattoos. In Leviticus, when Moses writes, don't cut your body. Nothing wrong with tattoos. In Leviticus, when... Time. Just to be on the safe side. Nothing wrong with tattoos. He says there's nothing wrong with tattoos. Let's go. In Leviticus, when Moses writes, don't cut your body. He's not talking about tattoos. He's talking about what the Baal worshippers did to get God's attention, competing with Elijah on Mount Carmel. They took dives and cut themselves, let the blood flow to get God's attention. And God says, no, you don't get my attention by cutting yourself and having the blood flow. I love you. I'm going to listen to you, God says. So talk to me from your heart. Pray to me, honestly. Because I want to go to sleep, like have a sleep. <laughs> Enjoy that sleep. Thank you. Give me the blessing. Now, do you understand why they cannot be saved? Do you understand why they can't understand and receive this wisdom? This so-called white man made a bold claim to say nothing is wrong with tattoos, meaning it's not a sin. That's what he's trying to bring about. So you know what? Before we start to get on him, let's go into some history and see why we don't do tattoos. Because what he says was vaguely incorrect. This is the reason why I will always flick and say this. Y'all Edomites will never be saved. Let's get some information. So let's go into the history of tattooing, right? I'm going to read down and then we're going to go into the ancient um, practices to see the root of where um, tattooing comes from. Right? So let's go into it. Tattooing has been practiced across the globe since at least Neolithic, Neolithics, if that's how it's pronounced, times as evidenced, as evidenced by mummified preserved skin. Ancient art and archaeological record, records. It says both ancient art and archaeological um, finds of possible tattoo tools suggest tattooing was practiced by upper paleothic period in europe now remember the scriptures say i want to make it clear hold on we'll get a pause it's like okay. hold on i do not video anyways hold on pause right remember when the scripture says that there's no new thing under the sun these things that I have, have been doing now are, have been practiced back then by the heathen nations. But let's continue. It says, however, direct evidence of, um, um, for tattooing and mummified humans' skin extends only to the 4th millennium BC. It says, the oldest discovery of tattooed human skins to date is found on the body of Otzi, the Iceman. Dating to between 300, 3370 and 3100 BC. Other tattooed mummies have been re um, recovered from at least 49 archaeological sites, including locations in Greenland, Alaska, um, Siberia, 
Mongolia or Mongolia, Western China, Egypt, um, Sudan, um, Philistines, and Andes. It says these includes Amont, priestess of the goddess Hathor from ancient Egypt, which um, goes back to 2134 BC to about 1991 and, and BC. Multiple mummies from um, Siberia, including the Pazai, Pazi Raiki culture, if that's what it's pronounced, of Russia from, the, from several cultures throughout pre Columbian South America. Now, when you go down into ancient, because we want to make sure and get the clarification here. Let's go into ancient. It says, preserved tattoos on ancient mummified humans remains, uh, humans remains reveal that tattoo has been practiced throughout the world for millennia. 2015 scientists reassembled uh, and reassessment like, yeah, of the age of the two oldest known tattooed mummies identify Odzi as the oldest example than known than known it says this body with 61 tattoos was found embedded in gla uh, in glacial ice in the uh, in the alps <clears throat> and was dated to 3250 bc in the 18 in 2018 the oldest <coughs> figurative tattoo <coughs> so like, yeah. tattoos in the world were discovered on two mummies from Egypt, which are dated between far more, which is 3,351 to 3,117 BCE. So with this understanding, it is clear to show this has nothing to do with our people. In other words, this was never part of our customs. And as the Bible says, to learn not the way of the heathen, when you grab that in the book of um, Jeremiah, Ten and verses, I read from one to but the but to two. It says, Hear ye the words which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Even when you go into Leviticus, which was before that. 18 and verses 1 to 3, what does the scripture say? Because we see in tattoos is directly linked to Egypt. But, okay, it's not a sin, right? No problem. You see where the lying tongue of these Edomites come into play? You can't help yourself but lie and deceive people. It in your blood. It in your veins, man. And people will sit here and listen to these smooth speakers. The Bible warns us about this nonsense. But yet they still have people like that out here. And I'm sure there must be a Jake that might try to defend this flicking, defend his on his understanding, even though he has none. Because we are pushing the scriptures out for you to see. So let's read Leviticus 18 and verses 1 to about, to about 5. We go to 5. Straight to the point. Um, Le Leviticus 18 and verses 1. And Yahweh speak unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am Yahweh, your power. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. So what does this mean? Isn't this any law? What does this mean? Edomite. What does this mean? It didn't say after we leave we could continue doing it. It said ye shall not do. See at this point I could challenge him in it, but I'm not gonna waste my time. 
cast not a pearls not a swine. This is just a, a, a teaching a, a, a example of 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 the of the idiocy and the fallacy that they, that they bring about for our people to hear. And many of people, many of our people get caught up by this nonsense. They get gobbled up in this nonsense, straight up. So let me continue reading. After the doings of the land of Egypt wherein ye dwelt, ye shall not do. I can stop right here because we're not dealing with Canaan, even though they had part in that as well. Let me, drop, uh, let me read it down. It says, And after the doings of the land of the Canaan, whether, um, whether I bring ye, ye shall not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Okay. Ye shall do my judgments and keep mine ordinances and to walk therein. I am your power, your power. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which a man do. He shall live in them. I am your power, your power. Now let's go down to the end of the verse and see what it says for doing so. For whosoever shall commit any of these abomin abominations, even the souls that commit them shall be cut off from among their people. Because why? They are no that they are no they are now an abomination. They are now a heathen. Because they are following after the heathen customs like tattooing. Therefore, Shall ye keep mine ordinances, and that ye commit not any of the, these abomina abominable customs which were committed before you, and that ye defile not yourselves therein? I am your how your power. So you see, if he had, if this Edomite would have understanding, he would have known this. This Edomite has no idea what he is talking about. He has no idea what he is saying. Because if he has any understanding, like I said, he would not have said what he did, what, what he said. He would, he, he would, he, he would, I would say, he would go according to the standard of the scriptures. Which we know he ain't going because he doesn't have that oil. He could never get the oil, straight up. Like going to it one time. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 8 and verses 20. I'm going to pause and I'm going to pause my arm with data. And it says, this is the standard of the scriptures. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, that's because there's no light in them. And you, sir, could never have a light in you because you were never under the covenant to begin with. Now remember what he said. It's not a sin, right? What is sin? Let's go to the precept. First John chapter 3 and verses 4. Though we could quote it, we still would like to give it out and show it. Right here. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So let's go into that law. And see what it says. Since you are lying in front of your whole congregation, congregation of the dead, and speaking about saying how what? Nothing is wrong with tattoos. Come on now. At this point, it at this point it ain't even funny. Y'all, y'all true. Christians, all other Christians ain't making no fucking sense. Sorry to say. And and don't forgive my harsh language. I harsh for a reason. I know smooth speaker like this guy who talking nonsense. Do I be rude in speech, but not in wisdom? Let's go into uh, Leviticus 19 verses 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am your power, your power. So we read in Leviticus, it says not, that ye shall not what? Make any cuttings in your flesh, nor prints any marks upon you. So let's go into the, the, the words and dissect it a little bit, right? Let's dissect Leviticus 19 28. Let us go. 
into the direct um, part saying max on because that's what he's talking about, right? What do you see here? When you go into your definitions, what do you see here? Incision, imprint, meant, imp which is imprint, which imprint goes back into impression on your skin, a distinctive mark or symbol or logo on your skin. What does that mean? And we have the plain as day. The definition is right there, right next to imprintment. Tattoo. Where in this lifetime could you not understand that? Let's even go to the NLT. Let's read the NLT. Let's see what it says. It says, do not, do not cut your bodies for the dead. Do not mark your skin with tattoos. I am Yahweh. Your power, our power, not yours, our power. So you are lying through your teeth, Dumbo, Edomite. You are lying through your teeth, and you cannot deny that you lie through your teeth. You are this, you are misleading the congregation. But we know you're are Edomite, so that way you're born to do, anyways. So go ahead and handle the stories now. Let the Heavenly Father destroy it after after a thousand years of your captivity, because I can't be able to put, 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 put my foot on your neck. I want to press it down nice and hard too. No rest for all the wicked. For this nonsense or this spewing. Imagine that. Lying blatant. And you know there are people that's going to come in the comment board and try to defend him after the information was brought up plain as day. This is the reason why it's operating like this for. Because it's like you're bringing it out they're seeing it, but because they like this person, he's my favorite. Let me defend him. The Heavenly Father okay, do care about favorites. Yes, of course, he do care about favorites, but more so the will that the more so those are doing the will of Yahweh Shai. Which his favorite, I would say, favorite is Yahweh Shai. Shut up. And his favorite people is Israel. He have favorites. That's why he's already with us. But anyways, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verses 13, it says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Now he's already in that era because he is willingly trying to deceive the congregation. Right? With that bullshit that he's talking about. How tattoos is not, nothing wrong with tattoos. Not saying, nothing wrong with that. Are you mad? Are you crazy? And these are the people that have a high following. He gotta sit out, he gotta stand up outside, speak smoothly, try to be subtle and and, and frail. Boy, <laughs> I can't wait for this thing to pop off and for these Edomites to get the flicking judgment. On. Can't wait, boy. And this is how we know that Yahweh is not dealing with these other nations. The, this wisdom was only given to our people. And let's put that before we close out. This wisdom was only given to our people. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 6. Straight to the point. It says, keep, the, keep therefore. Let me go for you top. It says, behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments even as Yahweh my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it keep therefore keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say surely this great nation is wise and understanding people it's not for you, because if it was for you, you wouldn't have been saying that, Edomite. You're going to be destroyed, Edomite. I need, I need to remind you. Punishment is coming your way very soon for all of your transgressions. Everything you all have done. So I hope this lesson was indeed edifying. I'll try my best to keep it. A simple not to not to aggress too much on it but just here this 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 fool mouth talking this nonsense 
and you would have Jake's my beanie background that's swallowing it up and believing in the same thing. Yes, they may be two thirds, but at the same time, it's it pisses me off to see a, a heathen take our Bible information and twist it. If you don't have the understanding, shut up. Remove yourself from our Bible, but I don't want to do that. Are you trying to claim somebody else's heritage as yours? It's not for you. If it was, you would have cracked the code already. I hope this lesson was indeed edifying. Chalwa mi ashurala. Gal halal yam yahawa bahasham yahawa shai bahasham rakakwadash. We get that one as the apostles and prophets and elders of James Khan. But another great millstone for the big for the 100% children have been currently edified under. Chalwa to the elect and tabernacle of David and Amrabeda Kazaki Ashurala saying to you. Chalwa.